Hey there and welcome to my channel, Paper Bag Investor. Today's video we're talking about some recent tweets from Shai Winninger, the co-founder of Lemonade, where he um, basically confirmed that auto insurance is going to be their next product. But also in a reply to my tweet, their auto insurance product is going to be very catered towards electric vehicles. And possibly, maybe based on his tweets, you could even sort of <laughs> maybe guess that they're going to have a partnership with Tesla. Possibility. Maybe more of a long shot, but we're going to talk about it here and what this means for Lemonade going forward. To be absolutely clear as well, not a personal financial advisor, just a guy with a bag on his head, loves investing, loves thinking about the future. If you get value out of this video and you love investing, you love thinking about the future, I encourage you hit that subscribe button down below and hit that thumbs up button while you're at it. So we're going to go through a series of tweets from Shai Winninger, co-founder of Lemonade, and myself, tweets that I sent out as well. So this is just a few hours before April 20th, and if you're not a Tesla uh, follower or investor like myself, you know that April 20th is kind of a joke meme day around Tesla, just from history in the past of where that number came up. But, and also 69 is related to that as well, but he tweeted out this gif of this Tesla charging up to 69%. It goes 67, 68, 69%. And he said six hours ago, interesting. Very interesting. Then the next, or a little bit later on, or the next day, next morning, so we're hard at work on Lemonade's car a new car insurance designed for safe drivers and environmentally friendly cars. Very interesting. And then he also put out this link behind the scenes updates here. You can go find his tweet, follow that link, and it basically just allows you to enter your email and get up updates emailed to you about their new Lemonade car insurance product. So I tweeted out some quick sort of thoughts to this. I said, it would seem one of three things is occurring. Either Lemonade's auto insurance will be for electric vehicles only, or Lemonade is forming a partnership with Tesla. You know, based on his Tesla tweet, his 69% at 420, I was thinking really maybe Tesla focused, or all of the above, Lemonade, Tesla. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe it's electric vehicles only and it's a partnership with Tesla. And then somebody, and I was thinking about this further, um, really the, the missed opportunity if they only went EVs that you'd have with all the other internal combustion cars that are out there, all that sort of cross product, uh, product mix between current customers transitioning over to other uh, other product lines. Uh, if you were only an EV insurance maker, it would be kind of limiting. And Genghis Khan summarizes this pretty well. He said, Genghis on, I guess, <laughs> said, let's take a billion dollar opportunity and just ignore that in place of vehicles that barely exist on the roads today. Okay. I mean, it's true. There's Electric vehicles are still a very, very limited amount. I think they're going to exponentially exponentially rapidly grow in the future especially in this next decade and beyond they'll just be electric vehicles at some point but um i said you know i, I said i agreed i hope they are the face of electric vehicles insurance so i really hope that they can really prioritize this as i was thinking at the time you know lemonade but I also provide a product for internal combustion engine cars after considering it further i think this could be a likely route they choose because they're not stupid they're in management very, very smart managing lemonade. They wouldn't just throw away an opportunity for internal combustion engines uh, insurance products. And I've heard them talk about that in other places, be it uh, Tim Bixby, the CFO, um, the, C um, the CEO, or or Shy himself. They've talked about they want more and more products to fill more and more niches for more and more customers. And they're seamless, easy, and effective efficient products with very low overhead so that uh, uh, customer existing customers can transition for, to greater amounts of products. Why wouldn't they have internal combustion engine product? And then luckily Shai himself responded to me. He said, not just for EVs, not just for EVs, but great for EVs. So I kind of summarized his thoughts or added a little bit of clarity to it, retweeted that, said, thanks, Shai. Looks like it'll be an EV-focused catered product, but also for traditional ICE vehicles as well. Yeah, and of course, and he did, he liked that tweet. So I think that's confirmation that that is exactly what they will be doing. It's going to be a, a an auto insurance product for all automakers, but especially really catered to electric vehicles. That's what I think is going to happen. <laughs> Not even think. Seems very confirmed by Shy himself. And overall, I'm very, very happy with this route that they'd be taking because it allows them, of course, capitalize on the entire auto insurance market as a whole. 
uh, which is not going away, even though I'm a huge believer in Tesla, a huge believer in electric vehicles, huge believer that we are transitioning to electric vehicles for environmental reasons, and they're going to be re the regulatory, you know, it's going to be regulated and mandated for electric vehicles. It already is, and it will be even more so in the future. And but also a better product can exist with electric vehicles, a better customer experience. So for all those reasons, I think EVs are totally the future. But it's going to take a long time before. Uh, EV production ramp really ramps up and EV infrastructure really ramps up uh, to sort of be what what gas vehicles are at today and then even at that point in time it's still going to take a number of years before gas vehicles are entirely phased out so to offer um, to offer internal combustion engine traditional auto insurance right now I think is a no-brainer it also I think but the idea that they're focusing on EVs and they're going to somehow make EVs the EV products special for EV owners I think it really fits well into their marketing, their branding, their identity as this as the 21st century, you know, insurance company that they are. Really the the face and the future of insurance for for electric vehicle owners which are going to be more future sort of orientated thinking themselves at least at this point in time. I think that all fits together perfectly uh, meshes together. What this focus also on electric vehicles could imply in in some ways many EV Customers have suffered from outdated insurance underwriting that does not include this greater the greater safety that's built into an electric vehicle. Either greater safety just because the vehicle itself drives better, handles better, and to and maybe has more, especially maybe in a Tesla has more systems and software that allow that are preventative of a, of a crash in the first place but then even after if there is a crash there's less risk of terrible harm there's just less risk of damage actually to the occupants of the vehicle they have much bigger crumple zones again lower center of gravity with the battery i don't think this is really captured in most underwriting models so my guess is this new product is likely going to capture some of the underwriting and safety that's built into electric vehicles and price that in accordingly. It'll probably have great benefits for EV owners and probably even make the cost of electric vehicle ownership better, which again, as a Tesla uh, enthusiast, Tesla shareholder as well, very, very exciting. And then I want to share a couple quick moonshot ideas that I think could come out of this as well. One is that maybe their product would somehow, I'm kind of wondering if, the, if it was an EV product, if it could somehow actually link with your EV data, maybe your driving habits and data of the vehicle. And the safer you are with your electric vehicle, with, uh, you know, proven by data the safer driver you are over time maybe they would allow you then to have a more dynamic premiums that would become better over time that's certainly a potential i think because electric vehicles especially teslas in a sense are very much computers on wheels so maybe if there was some kind of partnership or allowance of that data you could benefit if you're a better driver I did say in his tweet it would be great for uh, a great product for good drivers and environmentally friendly uh, vehicles. That's certainly a potential as maybe there's some kind of data integration. Another moonshot idea is maybe there's a partnership actually with Tesla. I know Tesla has launched their own insurance uh, product. They don't actually underwrite their own product, but maybe there'd be some kind of integration or mesh where Lemonade could work with Tesla. That would be tremendous for Lemonade, uh, especially. I'd be very, very excited as a Lemonade investor if that was the case, but I don't know if I really see that happening. I would really see Tesla doing that, but that would be interesting and certainly I don't think impossible. So certainly a possibility. So those are some quick ideas around this, especially how I think this product could, what it could sort of mean to the market and mean long-term for Lemonade. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this down in the comments. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. If you got value out of this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up while you're at it as well. Appreciate you all for watching. And remember, it's in the bag. Cheers.